County right now, so I thought I would drop off of Highway 77 North and uh, head down good old County Road 14 here and check on uh, one of my farms that I, I, I was on this farm on my 4th of July video talking about knee high by the 4th of July, but as you well know, it was well past that. Looking to my west, I see some clouds forming, so knock on wood, maybe we'll get a little little shower this afternoon later um, and that would be much appreciated so I'm at my dry land corn here and uh, yeah I can't complain let's uh, we're gonna take a we're gonna get out and take a look good pollination going considering the heat we've had so I'm very excited about how this crop looks over here um, they've caught some timely rains here we in had, uh, County which dew point this morning that made it feel like about 90 degrees at 5 a.m. <laughs> and so you'll have to forgive me for my casual attire today uh, when you see me on these videos but it is hot you can see if you look real close you can see the pollination going from the tassels above I don't know if many of you know that so the tassels drop down pollinate the silks and uh, create the ear of corn so pretty neat plant anyway we're gonna keep going we've got places to be today we're headed up north to uh, dodge and colfax counties and uh we'll be uh doing some uh videos up there also so stay tuned all right folks we finally made it to colfax county and i just wanted to talk a little bit about trimming the fat um we're headed to a closing here on this little piece of ground that we just sold there's 44 acres here and i wanted to talk to you about trimming the fat because if you are purchasing land for an investment, um, you got to look at what you're paying for taxes um, and what that parcel of ground is actually producing. This parcel had about 17 acres of crop ground on it was all. And unfortunately, um, for what it was producing, uh, it didn't make sense. So we are eliminating it. We are trimming it off the farm. When you're buying land, surveys are imperative, especially if it's not a square especially if there's a fence, even if there's not a fence, whatever the case may be, get a survey. I know it's a cost that you don't want to endure as a buyer when you're spending the kind of money you have to spend to buy a piece of ground anymore anyway. Um, but this piece did not have anything square about it except for the east edge and the west edge. Those are the only two flat sides of it. Everything else was crooked. And when we did the survey, when we sold this parcel off, um, it was way different than what we thought we actually had. We actually had more ground. We should have had more ground than we thought we had. So you want to make sure you get a survey when you buy a piece of ground. I know, it's like I said, it's not a cost you want to endure, but it's definitely something um, that will make your life a lot easier down the road when you go to put a fence in or you whatever the case may be. Um, it's always good to know what you actually own. So especially on these pieces that aren't square or aren't rectangle or whatever, if they're not good straight lines, you definitely want to have that looked at um, and make sure that uh, <laughs> you're not missing ground or on somebody else's ground or who knows what. Uh, fences get moved. Things happen. <laughs> you have to definitely make sure you're, you're getting what you're paying for. So get your surveys. Um, and uh, just don't forget that uh, every piece of ground has something good about it. I really truly do believe that and uh, like I said hopefully this time next year this has got some big fat cattle on it and our, uh, our new farmers doing good. So we just got done uh, looking at the mountain farm here in Colfax County and uh, like I said I'm pleased as I'll get out about how, uh, how this uh, tile project has turned out down here. Um, the hired man happened to drive up. He's uh, 21 years old and uh, he was shutting down the pivot and was telling me um, about the rolling blackouts that they do on these really hot days um, and they will shut down the pivots out here. Um, so he had to shut it down and uh, it won't get to probably start back up till about 11 o'clock tonight which is a little bit of a, a little bit tough. Um, yet understandable uh, it's just the way of the world right now and um, you know hopefully someday we can keep that from happening so much but uh, at this point that's what we're doing there's a golfer I know 
and he's a really good golfer. Has not been playing for that many years, and he's very good. But he said when he first started playing golf, he talked to everybody because he wanted to learn all that he could about the sport. And so that's how I feel about farming, and that's how I feel about farm management, and that's how I feel about um, farm real estate. And um, I, I, I want to talk to everybody. I want to know uh, what everybody's doing. So, because um, I'll learn from it. I'll learn something from it. I learn something every day. So uh, that's what I love about this business, um, and that's what I love about this YouTube channel. And uh, you can reach me at 402-650-1816. You can reach me at McClurelandInc at gmail.com. That's M-C-C-L-U-R-E, land, L-A-N-D, Inc, I-N-C, at gmail.com. Um, we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're at www.McClurelandInc.com. And uh, we'd love to hear from you. So give us a call. Uh, let us know what's going on. Share your thoughts your ideas, um, anything, uh, we're willing to listen because like I said, we might learn something from you. So, um, thanks again for joining us. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and, uh, we'll be in touch. Stay tuned. There's more to come. I promise.